Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Angelic Ray. So I just wanted to do a quick short video on like ascension symptoms and what that may look like or feel. Um, first and foremost, it's going to be different for everyone, especially depending on what your body is kind of healing, right? So what an ascension, ascension symptom is rooted from is ascension, right? The ascension that your body is going through with its alignment of mind and soul, mind and spirit, right? And so sometimes, um, you know, we may be experiencing a lot of spiritual phenomenon um, and it starts in spirit first right so as in heaven so it is on earth right so it, it'll start with spirit first and then the mind starts to gather the data of what is happening and then the body in turn of what is happening in spirit and mind um, starts to react and respond to what is happening right so the body depending on the density level of where your body's at or you know what's happening it can feel very different so for some of you it can be migraine headaches um it can be um cold sweats it can be i'm sorry i was just yeah so it could be cold sweats it can be cold chills it could be uh, heat flashes it can be like the bottom of your foot burning hot and then that energy of heat just rising up throughout, throughout your legs up your spine um, it can be um, the same thing with like cold temperature it can be crying it can be laughing it can be like a different of it could be anger it could be different sorts of emotions kind of feeling like a sense of bipolar in a sense where you're just like you don't know why you're feeling the emotions um, but you're feeling it it's coming up or you may know why it's coming up but the fact that it's like it almost seems a little bit uncontrollable because your body's trying to shake it off and in that your body could have chills it can shake it can shiver it can have spasms you can get a cold if it's things with the throat it can feel like a blockage in your throat or it could feel tight or like you're gonna have a cold okay you could get snuffles um you know some people have, it, it could even feel like a flu okay and it may not even like be the flu in a sense okay and so what's happening is your body the cells the molecules the atoms in the body is readjusting it's realigning it's reprogramming itself so that it can be in alignment with mind body soul right um, and that's a beautiful thing. So if you've been doing a lot of like meditation practices and you know, a bunch of things and you're unsure like what is going on, you're not realizing like you're just like, oh, I don't know. I just started getting sick out of nowhere and you know, this and that. And um, a lot of that can it has to do with your body's reprogramming itself and it doesn't always look like hocus pocus or it doesn't you know oh there's a peacock i want to show y'all hold on a second can i oh she just flew out yeah i'm definitely i'm walking my dog at the same time so by the way i love when the peacocks come out because they always come to see me on special days. I promise you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a baby one. Come on, Stella Blue. I want to show you the peacocks. Come here, Stella Blue. Let's go. So, y'all just got a, a good treat, didn't y'all? Um, is the big one. Can y'all see the big one? Oh, they're up there. Let me do this. By me. Let's go. So hopefully I can turn the camera around because I was having that issue before. 
So there is one, two, uh, so far I just see two, let me see, uh, it flew down, and there's one right now, so um, that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna go around. I know we're talking about ascension symptoms, but those of you that know me, it's like squirrel, right? <laughs> uh, I just get excited, especially when it comes to my peacocks, the peacocks, like those is my birds. Um, I had like 13. <laughs> Thank you, come on. I had like 13 of them one time, like out my window and they actually, not all 13 allowed me to feed them, but uh, seven of them allowed me to feed them. Stella Blue, this way, by me, over here. So, and peacocks, what I like about peacocks is they're like the phoenix rising in a sense, in the symbolism. Um, and they're super colorful. They are like part of the turkey family. Yeah, come on, fellow blue, we're almost there. We're almost there. So you may be able to see one. Oh, dang it. Oh, look, there's another one. So when they're flying down, you may not be able to see them. Can I turn this camera on? Let's see. You're not gonna see it, but over here, Can you? All right, y'all, I just had to like morph that together so y'all can see that because I got super excited. Um, oh, there's another one over here. See, I'm still walking and uh, they're coming out. So they're coming out to eat. Uh, sometimes I give them like corn or I give them like nuts and stuff. Right now I'm walking my dog. So... Um, I guess they're just coming out. Uh, you know, birds tend to migrate where they like gave birth at. And when I first came out here, actually, um, like I said, they tend to come out at special times for me, which is interesting. Um, the very first time I have been living here for quite some time already. Um, and then I did like a self-love ritual. And in doing that, uh, they popped up. That was the first time I seen them. And it was eight it actually started with three and the three of them like walked around where i live my, the building and like so they were walking around and they did a, a full circle and then it was eight of them and i was like what in the world right so it kind of started with that and then uh the next month I continued uh, that, that I did a second part to that and again, boom, they came out. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I noticed on the third, sorry about that. I noticed on the third month when I did it that it was due to what I was doing. And I was like, ah. And then I didn't see them again. So it was like three months in a row that I did see them though because what was going on. And then like a year later, which it was funny because when I looked at my notes, it was a year and a day later, like to the T. And I did the same ritual and they popped out again. And so whatever, um, the bamboo is so beautiful. So yeah, I just noticed that they, come on, Stella Blue, let's cross. I just noticed that they come out during special times for me. Um, and a lot of the times they do come like straight. So 
when they were out of my window that was a very special thing i did and i mean that was like 13 that was special and it was definitely during a moon cycle um anyway so ascension symptoms um yeah so it can feel it could also be some of you feeling extremely hyper right um feeling hot in your whole body feeling cold um so again it's gonna look different for everyone some people experience like itching um it may feel like allergies but like there's nothing for you to be allergic to whatever the case may be um and again i'm not a doctor so i'm not saying oh ignore your symptoms no you want to go to your doctor that's the disclaimer i'm using i don't care if i'm not doing it all professionally it is what it is use your discernment you're an adult hopefully you're watching this um and if you're not an adult we'll consult with your parents to go get checked out but i'm just saying based on experience and from observation and also having discussions with others these seem to be a common factor of ascension symptoms and it's a very beautiful thing is showing that your body is breaking through the resistance is breaking through blockages it's ascending it's transforming internally in alignment with what's going on in your spirit and your mind right and so there's the adjustments that need to happen um and with that, you know, your eating pattern. So for some of you, it can be feeling extremely thirsty. You do want to drink a lot of water. Okay, I will recommend that, drinking the water. And for some of you, it's going to be you're just super tired and you're going to want rest. That's a good thing. Get the rest that you need as well. Um, because that helps your body heal. For others of you, come on, Soul Blue. It's going to be, um, it's going to, be, it's going to feel as if you're not hungry at all. You may want to fast and that's okay. Um, and for some of you, it's going to have like super duper cravings. Now there's the thing with that. The cravings is not necessarily bad, right? Because it's telling you what your body needs. However, because you're shifting of consciousness, um, sometimes the ego will like to trick you into certain cravings so that you are dancing, putting density into the body and indulging in that craving while you are going through an ascension so it's up to you to indulge or not both one you know neither one of them is right or wrong um you're gonna ascend where you're gonna ascend anyway you know um but that is just something to uh, pay attention to because the mind is very tricky it's a beautiful thing but it can be very tricky so yeah, that's all I wanted to leave with you right now. Um, I give thanks for each and every one of you for supporting my channel, following, subscribing, commenting, uh, you know, sharing. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Peace.